Now we are moving to the next topic, cystic diseases of kidney. So one condition I have already discussed with you, the collecting system and metanephrons fail to fuse together. So the fetus will have multiple cysts in the kidney and that kidney is not working at all. So unilateral multicystic dysplastic kidney is so common. If someone have multi bilateral multicystic dysplastic kidney, then they can't survive. So if someone have a multicystic dysplastic kidney in one side, you can't leave alone, you can't do much. So it is a normal kidney, right kidney, left kidney, all normal. But here, multiple cysts in the kidney, there are no renal parenchyma. Ureter is normal, but no renal parenchyma. So this kidney is not working, but you can leave it. About 20 years back, we tend to remove these kidneys, thinking about this can become cancer, this can cause hypertension or something. But now we have come to a conclusion, we are not going to remove the kidneys unnecessarily. We leave it. If it is causing any trouble, then we will remove it. So if you see in a resected specimen, there are multiple cysts. They are not producing any urine. So that is multicystic dysplastic kidney. Not so common. The second one is polycystic kidney disease. There are two types, autosomal dominant type that occurs in adults. So adults type polycystic kidney disease. The second one, autosomal recessive type, is occurs in pediatric. So the appearance will be like this. You no, know, they have a cyst. Multiple cysts, more than five cysts. So, what is the difference between autosomal dominant type polycystic kidney disease and autosomal recessive type polycystic kidney disease? Obviously, autosomal dominant type will be very common because you have studied in your genetics that the incidence of transmitting the autosomal dominant to the next generation is 50%, but autosomal recessive is 25%. So what some dominant condition will be common and they will have a family history in their parents. In order to dominant polycystic kidney, the renal cysts are big cysts. They develop larger cysts. That's all your picture and you will understand. So this is the order of dominant type polycystic kidney disease. You see their cysts are big cysts, larger cysts. In between, they will have some normal renal parenchyma. The cyst can develop hemorrhage and infection, so and so. If you do a CT scan, you will see multiple cysts inside the kidney, and in between, you will see some normal parenchyma. So these people present around 30s and 40s. In examination, you will see bilateral, palatable mass. In the history, they will have some history of hematuria and some loin pain. On examination, blood pressure will be high. I mean, they will have some family history. And sometimes they develop very aneurysm in a circle of villages. So they develop sudden death because very aneurysm can develop rupture and they can develop sudden death. So this is an ultrasound scan picture. You can see multiple cysts. And between that, you see a normal parenchyma. Contrast to this, in autosomal recessive polycystic kidney disease, the cysts are tiny cysts. They are big cysts. Tiny cysts. And this is common in children, and they usually die because of uh, renal failure earlier, early age. Adult type polycystic disease also develop liver cyst as well. So in summary, autosomal dominant type is common. Autosomal dominant type develop kidney cysts, liver cysts, and they develop hypertension and they develop very aneurysm at the circle of villages. You will see this patient in adult life 
but this patient usually die before 10 20 years so that is polycystic kidney disease then medullary sponge disease or medullary sponge kidney not common if you do IV, the, the urogram, IVU, you will see that a lot of contrast in dilated collecting duct. You can see this is a cortex and it's a papilla. And the collecting ducts are dilated. So dilated collecting ducts and form this kind of thing. That is, looks like a sponge in the medulla. This is cortex, medulla, there's some sponge kind of appearance. Uh, usually they won't cause any problem, but some people develop stones inside this. That's a medullary response kidney, nothing much to learn. Just the terminology, if you know the terminology is enough. The other one is medullary cystic disease. Again, I have not seen much, so no need to know much, but just remember, between the cortex and the medulla, they develop cysts at the corticomedullary junction. In corticomedullary junction, they develop cysts, medullary cysts. That's common. And there are cysts you can develop after dialysis. So that is acquired cysts. The important of that cyst is they can develop, rarely they can develop cancer, renal tumor inside that cyst. But even though I have discussed so many cysts, the common cyst is a simple cyst. Simple renal cyst is common. If you do a scan in 10 people, one will have simple cysts. A simple cyst, so this is a kidney, the cyst. This inside you have a clear fluid, throw color fluid. It won't cause any problem. It won't cause cancer. We get a lot of referral. Simple cyst are not cancer. Don't do anything. Just ignore it. There's a simple cyst here. There's a simple cyst here. There's a simple cyst here. There's a small cyst here. We are not going to do anything. You can see in the CT scan, right kidney, left kidney, pancreas, iota, IVC, iodinum, small bowel, fast muscle, Erectus spinae, rectus abdominis muscle, linea alba, external oblique, internal oblique, transverse abdominis muscle. Right. But these are simple cysts, just contain a fluid. But we have a cyst called complex cysts. I don't know whether you can see. Here, there is a cyst in the kidney that contains solid area. There are some liquid fluid containing area as well, but there are solid area. If you get a cyst with a solid area and liquid area, you can't ignore the cyst. This kind of cyst are known as complex cysts or complex Bosniak cysts. These cysts are almost 100% malignant. So you had to remove the kidney. So if you, as a house officer, if you see the ultrasound scan report, nowadays they use a Bosniak classification of renal cysts. A simple cyst are known as Bosniak cyst 1, type 1. They are not malignant. Depending on the solid area and depending on the thickness of the, 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 the septum, there are Bosniak 2, Bosniak 2F and 3 and 4. The 4 is almost 100% malignant. 3, 50% malignant. 2F, 5% malignant. 1 and 2 is not malignant. So this is a, a Bosniak 4 cyst. 100% malignant. So Bosniak cyst. So that is the end of cystic disease of kidney. Thank you very much.